Now, I'm Kerry Johnston in Doha. The top stories on Al Jazeera. Nearly 900 people have been arrested in France during the third consecutive night of violent protests after a police officer shot and killed a teenager. President Emmanuel Macron is due to hold a second crisis meeting on Friday. The unrest has spread rapidly beyond Paris and its suburbs. Public buildings, shops and vehicles were attacked around the city of Lille in the north. Attacks were also carried out in Marseille in the south. Protests are reported to have spread to Brussels in neighbouring Belgium. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says the Wagner Group's mutiny last week will strengthen the country. The armed uprising against Moscow lasted 24 hours. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko brokered a deal to bring it to an end. Russia has always overcome all its problems, and it's difficult to call them anything more than problems. And it comes out stronger and stronger. It will be the same this time, too. Moreover, we feel that this process has already begun. European Union leaders are meeting for a second day in Brussels with migration, one of the main issues. Earlier this month, EU Home Affairs ministers agreed to a major new deal. It would change how asylum seekers are processed at the border and relocated throughout Europe. Member countries that refuse to host refugees would face fines. The UN Security Council is set to vote on ending its peacekeeping mission in Mali. The vote was postponed from Thursday following disagreements among member states. Mali accuses peacekeepers of fueling tensions and wants them to leave. The United Nations has voted to establish an independent body to investigate the fate of 150,000 people who've disappeared during the civil war in Syria. The families of those missing over the past 12 years appealed to the UN for help. Syria, Russia and Iran voted against the General Assembly resolution. The Pentagon has revealed that a Chinese balloon shot down over the Atlantic in February did not collect any intelligence. The balloon, carrying a large payload of electronics, flew over the United States from Alaska to South Carolina. It prompted concerns that Beijing was collecting intelligence. China denied the allegations at the time.